Not for you. You're sober. What is it? Well, that is the lining that you should have had underneath that skin full you just had. Banana. And honey. Trust me, I could write the hangover guidebook. <sighs> what are you even doing bothering with me? I've no idea. The dog's much less complicated and he's got more realistic whiskers. <laughs> Seriously, though. Who wastes their evening on a self pity and drunk? Me, obviously. Why, though? Right, the truth is... No, no. No. Um, Gail! What mum is he? Um, I just... Well, he was drunk, so... Uh, you late. So I brought him back here. I made me a bunny and... Hun no. A banana and honey. <laughs> Sandwich, yeah. Bunny and Hanana, there's one for your recipe book. <laughs> Have you been out drinking? Uh, not me. Clayton might be dead, and I want to wish he was, but I hope he isn't, which I hate. Well, he isn't. I spoke to the family liaison officer. And what did she say? What did she say? He took a fall, fractured his wrist. Fractured his wrist? I thought someone tried to do him in. Yeah, well, there was trouble at the prison, but uh, he wasn't involved. It was all rumours. It was all completely unconnected. Um, he's had an op, but he'll be fine. Oh, great. Can go back to waiting him now. Thank you for bringing him home. I'll take care of him now. Yeah. Listen, sorry for... You, know... <laughs> you were drunk. And make sure you eat that. I'm gonna go for a shower. Go, Mom. No, Eileen? Nope. I'm home alone. What did you tell David about Clayton? Nothing. And I won't. Why were you even at my house? Most mothers would have been at their son's hospital bedside. Well, I tried. Me and his dad, well, let's just say the usual outcome when we're in a building together is us getting chucked out by security. I couldn't risk Clayton being on his own, so I had to be the one that left. Generous. Can't believe Dane let me believe Clayton was at death's door. Well, I I'm impressed that you walked away. That you sometimes realise that's for the best. Meaning? I've got 400 pounds. It's money I can't afford to lose, but like you, I'm willing to make sacrifices for my son. It'll buy you a ticket somewhere, tide you over till you've got a job. I want you gone, Shona. Sooner the better. 